अभी दिख रहा है सर हाँ दिख रहा है ठीक है यू कैन स्टार्ट नाउ ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन ओह टुडे आई विल टॉक अबाउट लाइनस कार्ल पाउलिंग एंड हिज लाइफ एंड डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ हिज लाइफ एंड इट डजेंट नीड एनी इंट्रोडक्शन बट स्टिल इट्स वेरी गुड टू नो हाउ ही गॉट दैट अचीवमेंट इन हिज स्पेन ऑफ लाइफ सर इंटर इज नॉट वर्किंग try space the space on next or right arrow first first click on this first click on the screen uh huh is it working now oh it's click by click it's working okay so uh, linus carl pauling was american chemist chemical engineer and uh, at the last uh, he started working as a peace activist and he has written so many books and papers so he was a very good author so he was actually inspired by his wife uh, helen miller to work as a peace activist he has won two uh, nobel prizes one in chemistry and one in peace so uh, he was along the four people who has won uh, nobel prize two times but he is the only person who has not shared the nobel prize with an, uh, anyone uh, both of his nobel prizes he has got uh, separate individually all of them four people were very special in uh, one and another way uh, like uh, pauling got uh, his nobel prize all two nobel prize without sharing in different two fields madam curie won uh, two nobel prize in two different science fields bardeen got two nobel prize in physics twice and sanger got uh, nobel prize two times in chemistry so all the four people have got the two times nobel prize and all of them have a special uh, category so he was one of the four people uh, among uh, these four three to get the nobel prize two times so there are so many contributions from his side like he has done a research in electronegativity and explained valence bond theory crystal structure prediction he did and uh, hybridization theory in uh, hydrocarbons and resonance in chemistry settle powering rule in condensed matter physics and at the last Uh, after world war 2 he was so much affected with the consequences and uh, after the hiroshima nagasaki event he started working as a peace activist and uh, for the disarmament of uh, nuclear weapons so the two theory uh, the two contributions electronegativity and valence band theory and uh, advocating that nuclear disarmament actually lead him to get the nobel prizes so since childhood he was very much interested in chemistry in one interview he said that one of his friend uh, having a small chemi uh, chemistry laboratory in his house and he used to show him uh, different uh, uh, reactions and uh, uh, interesting phenomena and since childhood he was very much interested in chemistry and even when he was in high school with his friend simon he started a company in his uh, in simon's house basement and they called this company uh, palmon laboratories to do the sampling of butter fat uh, they were going every dairy to talk to the dairy men and ask them that we will do the sampling in a very cheap price but the problem was they were so young and kid that uh, uh, dairy men were not comfortable and were not uh, having enough uh, confidence on them to uh, give them their samples so their business actually failed but since childhood he was very much interested in practical and he was very much interested in uh, chemistry so uh, he got nobel prize in chemistry in 1954 for his research in the nature of chemical bonds in which he also uh, wrote a book and this research uh, led him to the next uh, research which he did in uh, orbital uh, uh, orbital hybridization and uh, this book which he has written the nature of the chemical bond has got uh, more than 16000 citations till now and he has written more than 1200 papers plus books and uh, many uh, articles in uh, in uh, magazines and all after world war 2 pauling was uh, very much uncomfortable it was not like that he has not worked with the defense organizations of america he did work and he also made uh, one instrument for uh, uh, checking the oxygen levels 
but uh, he was not aware that his research and the uh, uh, atomic energy research which led to such a consequence which happened in uh, japan so after world war 2 he was very much dejected and he started giving lectures his speeches and awareness programs along, uh, among the people so that uh, he can uh, tell people that uh, this development is not necessary and it is not good for human civilization so he and his wife uh, eva uh, they write a petition they wrote a petition and uh, gave to the american government and this petition was signed uh, previously it was uh, his motto was to get it signed american scientists but later he got to know that a uh, foreign scientist also want to join him so 10000 foreign scientist also in, uh, signed the petition and approximately 11021 or something scientists signed his petition and he gave it to american government so and when einstein got to know that uh, pauling is also not a good supporter of uh, nuclear energy development in the field of weapons or the uh, defense uh, he called pauling and asked him to join his committee which he formed to uh, spread the awareness uh, about the outcome of the uh, nuclear energy development so the, it, it was a eight people committee which uh, einstein formed in 1946 and uh, the motto of this group was to encourage people to only use the atomic energy in a peaceful way pauling also joined this committee on uh, uh, einstein request so there were eight people including albert einstein as a chairman and uh, herold as a vice chairman bethe was there and westcroft was there so these were the eight people uh, uh, who were there in the committee this committee has written so many letters uh, to different authorities they uh, they were creating awareness not only in uh, science uh, science background people they were writing letters to artists actors and uh, whoever having the influence among the people so i have included this letter this letter einstein uh, wrote to a artist she was an artist as a painter artist so he uh, wrote uh, her the letter to create uh, awareness and give people the uh, real idea the real uh, outcome of the nuclear energy development so he was writing letters not only to the government not only to the president he was writing letters to different area of the people who were having good influence among the people so this uh, she was uh, an artist painter after world war 2 pauling he started giving so many uh, speeches he has uh, participated in uh, uh, active active movements also along with his wife and uh, due to his this uh, activity he has also got so much uh, criticism uh, even from the americans there were so much government officials who were not uh, uh, with the support of him they started calling him uh, communist brother because sometime he was also going to russia and uh, talking to russian scientist and uh, telling them to aware their politicians to stop uh, doing the development and in interview uh, he has explained that why russia is was not stopping the development because they may not have started development because they know that main revival was america and if he, they are having nuclear energy and nuclear power they will also do so that they can go one and another so that's why he was telling that not only americans they will have to uh, talk to russians also on the soviet rules also regarding this matter and he went to uh, kennedy also he went to uh, different presidents also to uh, make the pact between the two countries but it was not that much successful but later on he was succeeded to make some treaty to Uh, not developed uh, further he also opposed when hydrogen bomb development was created and started uh, it's a story behind the uh, scene that uh, when oppenheimer started the manhattan project he approached uh, pauling and he asked him to join the uh, chemistry wing of the manhattan project at that time uh, pauling was not aware of that what is the consequence of manhattan project uh it's not clear it's not written i have not written also but uh, the reason pauling never accepted that what was the reason he denied but uh, there was a good bonding between pauling and oppenheimer long back but due to some uh, romantic behavior of oppenheimer this uh, friendship got in 
one day when pauling was not in home oppenheimer went in his house and asked eva for a date and to went to mexico and she denied and she informed pauling so after that their good relationship ended and uh, he never accepted but later on when oppenheimer approached him for manhattan project uh, he said no but uh, later on when the world war 2 was finished and uh, hiroshima nagasaki got so much uh, devastated pictures before that he was not that much active with uh, his wife's uh, work but after that he actively participated uh, with his work with her work and uh, he went to different places he take, took so many uh, uh, lectures uh, in different countries to aware people related to this issue later on he wrote a book also no more war which was very much famous uh, afterwards so uh, because of his active uh, uh, active participation in the peace activity he has got so many problems also uh, because when uh, uh, he was invited in london conference uh, the us government uh, denied to issue him passport in 1952 when one senate requested uh, the government and opposed this action he was issued a very limited passport and uh, it was not mentioned that he was allowed to go to the london but he for two years he was not uh, given the passport he, the passport was not issued the passport was only issued in 1954 when he was announced as a nobel laureate and uh, uh, he was about to go to nobel prize event in stockholm then only his full passport was restored in and uh, he has explained many times that uh, when uh, he actively and in open platform he started criticizing government's decision uh, on the uh, in the back scene he was very much uh, threatened and uh, tailored by the government agencies and in one interview he has also told i will show you the picture that how fbi agents were coming to his office after my first talk uh, i think uh, the second day after my first talk Uh, an FBI man turned up in my office and said, uh, "How did you? Who gave you information about how much uh, plutonium or uranium two thirty five there is in an atomic bomb?" And I said, "Nobody. <laughs> I figured it out." Um, so uh, I wasn't bothered thereafter. But if I had had classified information, we can see that I might well have been restrained from speaking in public about the need to get control over war in the way that I. So when uh, he started giving the lectures and he was awareing the people, the consequences. He was also explaining that how much damage they can do. so the agencies and the government was not accepting that he is not having that information leaked from the uh, inside people so he was criticized by many people that he can leak the information to the soviet uh, soviet uh, rush because he was frequently going there and he was in contact with them and uh, uh, he was also accepting that he was not uh, luckily he was not connected to the manhattan project and uh, luckily he was not actively uh, in any project from the defense area so he was not having any classified information from the government that's why he was not detained otherwise he may have been uh, tortured more than that so thank you so much i think the talk was very small mm. hello yeah 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 uh, but but that was very good i mean it it's it's <laughs> I I don't know how to say that. He and just figured it out. <laughs> he he said he just figured it out when the FBI 